So the human mind is a fickle thing. It can hallucinate. It can find patterns where there are none. And when left to its own devices, it can become a little mad. Tonight, we're gonna sit in the dark, but not the literal dark, but the kind you feel when your senses go quiet and your brain starts asking, now what? That's where the story begins. An empty room, a bored brain, and a pattern that runs through science, medicine, and survival lore. When the world falls silent, the mind starts to hum. It fills the void with people who aren't there, sounds that never happened, and timelines that stretch, maybe even snap. It does this not because we're broken, but because the human brain is built to predict, to guess, and to keep the show running even when the lights flicker. I'm your guide, not your guru, the mad scientist to help tell the stories of the mind and of its madness. I'm going to walk you across the five edges where that brain it shows up. I'm going to start with first, a classic experiment that starved the senses and found hallucinations. Second, a tour of modern neuroscience that explains perception as nothing more than a stack of predictions. Third, the tools people use today to bend those predictions from isolation tanks to magnetic stimulation. And fourth, the frozen hallway between dreaming and waking where a presence can sit on your chest. And finally, the stories from climbers and castaways who swear a calm, unseen companion got them home. Because through all of it runs one honest idea. Perception is useful, but it's not perfect. It's a handshake between what hits your eyes and ears and what the brain expects to find. When the signal drops, expectation steps in. Sometimes that saves us and sometimes it can scare us. Either way, it reveals how the system works. So come with me on this journey into the archive where we're all a little mad in here.